Jay, when you say the work, what kind of work are you talking about? Lines of communication are open. So far as I can tell, and based on your comments at the podium just now, no proposals are being exchanged. There are no ideas being bandied back and forth between the White House and congressional Republicans. It sounds like we're stuck. Well, again, Major, I, I just, I, I'm not going to read out no. what's happening, and so uh, I would neither confirm you, nor deny uh, any characterizations about uh, what's happening or the progress that's being made beyond the fact that, uh, you know, we confirmed the meeting the President had, we've confirmed various phone calls and other activity, uh, in part because, uh, you know, mm -hmm. some of it takes place on Capitol Hill with some members of the President's team, and uh, you can't really keep that secret. So, but when you but say I'm there's not no talk about proposal, it sounds as if there's nothing actually being exchanged between the two sides who have to create a I deal. I was simply responding to the public statements by the Speaker of the House. I'm not going to characterize internal negotiations. Okay. Uh, can you tell us and the public what the coverage will be of the swearing in for the President on Sunday? I, of I don't believe those decisions have been made. Uh, and Why I'm is sure it an once open they, question? I don't know that it's an open question. Nobody's, we just haven't had discussions about press coverage. But the public would be entitled to Again, see I don't have a, I just don't have an, an answer for you on that, but, but I'm sure there will be and, and we'll, we'll There'll be coverage. I'm sure there will be an answer for you. I, I, we you haven't can't made guarantee the public there'll be coverage? <laughs> Major, I, I'm telling you that we don't have an answer for you yet, but I'm sure we will soon. Okay. You've invited a lot of us to look at the details when you talk about the mandatory spending cuts. I, I, I've taken you up on your invitation. Uh, the 240, not the health care savings, but the other entitlement spending mm -hmm. cuts that are identified. Would you say that those represent efforts to make the government smaller and reduce the size and scope of government activity? Because that's a priority for Republicans. I think this president is committed to re reducing uh, spending by government and spending including tax expenditures, as uh, the Simpson-Bowles Commission identified them and to having a leaner, more efficient government uh, and a more effective government. That's been reflected in the steps he's taken to uh, reduce spending. Uh, you know, that what he signed into law last summer represented one of the largest cuts in discretionary spending uh, in generations. So, uh, and he, con is continued committed, he, is con he continues to be committed to doing that. What he does not believe is helpful is uh, making cuts in areas of investment that actually help the economy grow, like research and development or education or, you know, this was some of the debate we had. Um, and I would note that the irony of this, and it goes to the broader point about, I think, some misunderstandings about what we're contemplating. What, what I think a lot of people don't understand is that the fiscal cliff is not about spending. It's about cutting spending too fast and the impact that would have on our economy. I understand that. But we're just talking about other mm -hmm. non health care mandatory savings that the administration put forward. A hundred billion of that 240 billion is better IRS enforcement, meaning more rapid and efficient gathering of tax mm -hmm. revenue, and a 61 billion dollar financial crisis fee, which is a tax. Mm -hmm. And then there's a 44 billion dollar changing in payment on timing, that's only a one-time only savings, mm -hmm. and 27 billion from higher fees for federal employees. Republicans would look at that and say that's not reducing the size scope of government, that's fees better IRS enforcement, and making federal employees pay more. That's not really changing anything structurally in the federal government. Well, here's what I would say. Uh, as demonstrated by your recitation, there's a lot of specificity in there. Uh, we have not seen anything like that kind of specificity from Republicans. And what I said at the top is, no question Republicans may have different proposals, we just haven't seen them with any great specificity, about how they would reduce spending. But those really and they may want their fees, most of them. Well, again, I, I, I don't have... Uh, the item by item here to go over. I mean, I, you know, I have the, the document, but I'm not going to go item by item with you. There are significant savings uh, represented, the President put forward. If the, if the Republicans have specifics that they want to put forward, they ought to do that. And then we can discuss about how we achieve that kind of balanced package uh, that I think most people agree is necessary to help our economy. Uh, and most people agree is fair when it comes to uh, everyone uh, bearing the burden uh, fairly and equally uh, to get our deficits under control.